Hey drummers, today we're going to learn the pattern from 21st Century Fox. So the pattern is basically different sets of rudiments and we're going to break it down into two now. So the first rudiment is a single drag tap. Now I'm going to play this right lead so it's going to go left left right left 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 right left. So the left left part is your drag, a bounce stroke and then you've got two main strokes and we're going to accent both of them, the right and the left. A bit faster now. Now you can also stick this the other way around, so right, right, left, right. Make sure you're not lazy with the rudiment, doesn't sound good if it's sloppy. Get the drag part nice and tight. Let's talk about the accented part, the right left. So it's on the one and and the three and in a bar of four four. One, two, three, four. Now with the drag back in. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. Make sure that your drag precedes the beat. This is very important, otherwise it will sound sloppy. Now let's talk about the roll in the second half of the pattern. I'm going to play it as a buzz roll, otherwise known as a closed roll or pressed roll. So for this I'm going to squeeze the stick a little bit more at the top with the fulcrum and I'm going to keep my back fingers nice and loose and away from the stick so it can still move in my hand. Don't be wrapping your fingers at around otherwise you'll restrict the movement. Let that stick move freely at the back of the hand. So a little bit more pressure at the front, keep the stick nice and low, and push down. The way to build up is just to alternate the sticks, making sure you get a nice buzz on each hand. Make sure you overlap each stroke, otherwise you'll get a gappy roll. If the stick's coming down from too far above the skin, you're going to hear those strokes. Now to get it really smooth, in my opinion, you've got to keep the sticks nice and close to the skin. You've got to apply that pressure and push in a little bit making sure that the stick can move freely at the back of the hands. Experiment with the amount of squeeze, you'll find the sweet spot eventually. Okay, let's talk about the rhythm. This is important now. I've, I'm playing a rhythm in my wrist strokes. And this helps me get the correct timing of the roll. So the rhythm is eight sixteenth note semiquavers followed by two eighth note quavers. And I'm gonna accent the two eighth note quavers at the end. One E and a, two E and a, three and. You can put some words with this. Caterpillar, caterpillar, tap, tap. Semi-quaver, semi-quaver, tap, tap. Cappuccino, cappuccino, tap, tap. It doesn't matter the words you use as long as you get the rhythm accurate. Now it's important to keep this rhythm in your wrist because it'll help you with the timing of the pattern. So we're going to roll for beat number one and beat number two into beat number three. The three and the and of three are going to be the accented notes. A bit smoother now. So a good exercise for this is to play the clean notes with the accents 
and then the roll with the accents, like this. Now I'm going to add the bass drum to the exercise. Let's go back to the single drag tap. Now the bass drum is going to go with the right and the left accented strokes. Now with the bounce, the drag preceding it. Now the bass drum during the roll. So I'm going to go back to the wrist strokes and add the bass drum there so you can see where it is. So I'm playing this right hand lead. So the first three bass drums in this roll will be with my right hand. The last bass drum will be in my left hand. Now with the roll back in. Let's hear the whole thing with the bass drum in. So it's a great exercise to use as a warm up using different rudiments. Make sure you practice a lot to get a really smooth buzz roll. Have fun and keep on drumming.